Kendall Tate Goff was knocked down and killed in front of the Castleton racetrack in Boral Boom. Around 5.30 this morning, Goff got off a bus here and was heading to work when he was knocked down by a pickup driven by 54-year-old Christopher Vernon. The police report says that Goff was crossing the road when he was knocked down. But according to the family, reports are that he was hit while already off the road. His father says his death could have been prevented had Vernon been more careful. Kind to eyewitnesses who were on the bus. He already crossed the street. So the vehicle probably hit him off the shoulder of the road. Because based on the measurement that I saw, he saw the road inside of the next somebody's driveway. That vehicle that knocked him down, did you hear if that vehicle was speeding? Was it maybe it would overtake anything? Well, anything of that sort? Let me get it clear to you. Maybe a lot of people don't know. But the guy who was driving that vehicle, he drive very hard. Even the people are living in the same village that he's he living in, they complain about him. I mean, he's my friend. I have nothing against him. And you know the driver? Yeah, accidents do happen. But um, probably I think he could avoid it. If he were doing the right thing, he could avoid it. Goff is a truck driver in the family business for about two years now, and he parks his dump truck here across the race truck in Raymond Tillett's yard. He was heading here to start the day's work to transfer clay from the boom road to this lot in Ladyville. Tillett, a friend and fellow trucker, arrived on the scene shortly after he heard the loud crash just outside his house. Well, I was in the house when I heard the big bang. It sounded like, like, uh, like two vehicles collided. And uh, my neighbor came over and asked me, and told me about it, asked me about, can I call his brother? So I called uh, his brother. I couldn't get him on the phone. When I went over there, I saw the man laying down. So at that time, he looked like he was about gone, like he had passed away already. We, we all truck drivers. So we, we, um, he parked here and he'd leave from here instead of, because he's from Doublehead. Right. So instead of driving all the way back there and all the work starts right here and boom. So he just parks here and then take the bus home. So he comes here every morning and the evening he takes the bus. And he takes the bus again, right. Evan Goff said that this morning he was going to give his son a ride to work, but his son decided to take the bus. Little did he know that this morning would be the last time he'd see his youngest child alive. I turned back three times. Pass him for a ride, give me, give me, give me a ride. And the last one he told me that he's going to ride the bus. I said, let's go. When I went, I said about 50 yards from here. Uh, slow down, wait for him, waiting for him, you know. Figure that he has to still make up my mind to um, to go. He didn't leave when I left to Belize, get to Belize City. About 10 minutes after I get to Belize City, I get a phone call. You didn't know this morning would have been the last time you'd see your son alive? Well, you say it right. That's perfectly right. I didn't know that would be the last time I see him alive. And the last time I see him, I went to the police, they decided to catch him inside the, the vehicle. The 19-year-old truck driver is described as a dedicated member of the church, very easygoing and friendly. As a young driver, he was committed to his work. He was energetic. Uh, he loved his job. The one thing, he can't get truck off his mind. Uh, he lives, breathes, and sleeps trucks. Everything is about truck, 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 especially Caterpillar. You know, so he was all about trucks. And you see the time of the day he gets in here. He gets off the bus at 5.30 in the morning. I don't, told, I don't know too many truck drivers that get up that early in the morning, you know. You know, and he's usually in here before anybody else even leaves because I have a few other guys that park here also, you know, and uh, he's usually the first one in and out. He's the first one to leave in the morning and about the last one to come in at night or around there. Police have since arrested and charged 55-year-old Christopher Vernon with manslaughter by negligence, cause of death by careless conduct, and driving without due care and attention for Kendall's death. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.